so far. They came down the wire again today. Hello, my Legion. I'm here to do a review of a, what I like to call a sloppy Jason. And what you do first is take some great wheat, uh, not wheat, but rye bread. Now, this is what, this is right here. This is uh, Schwabel's Reuben rye bread. This was, this giant hearty rye bread was uh, like over three bucks at uh, Sam's Club. And what I did was, before I even go to the meat, what I do is I take pickles and jalapenos and I line the bottom of the bread with the pickles and the jalapenos and then I put the jalapenos on top yeah get them real good in there and what I did was I uh, I took some hamburg. Now this hamburg right here was ground beef was uh, 268 a pound, so I got like a one and a half pound thing, like 418. And here's the finished product of the sloppy joes right there. You know what I did was I boiled the meat, then I drained out the grease, and that's a good way to get a lot of fat out of the meat. And I added uh, man, which uh, sloppy joe sauce, and I'm gonna add this to my uh, bread. Well, like I said these are called the sloppy Jason. You ever had sloppy Joe's? But I don't know if you ever had sloppy Jason before. See, I thought I'd be cracking up when I said that, but I'm really not. Oh yeah, we want a real good. There you go. And I got. Let's sit down. And I got stuff to put on top of it. I got garlic powder. Damn it. Garlic powder. And of course, crushed red pepper. Boy, it is tough doing this with one hand. See? Crushed red pepper. Pour some of that on there. And what I got as a side dish, I got Betty Crocker's Au Gratin potatoes right there. And here's what they look like inside. I'm going to add some of this. I did this on the stove top this time. This is like super hot, super freshly cooked. Oh, yes. I'll just put a little bit on there. That'd probably burn my mouth off. But I like to do the sloppy Jason. What? Let's cut it with my... should cut it with a fork. Let me get it. Let me get a fork real quick. Here we go. Mm. These are really good and easy to do. I need to add some hot sauce to this. Hold on. There we go. Hey, a Valentina hot sauce, baby. Open this up. I'm gonna find the thing to open up. There we go. Put them on here. Oh yeah, these sloppy Jasons are coming up real good. I said. I don't know if you ever had sloppy dates before, but these are the, what they are. With pickles, ha jalapenos, you know, of course, uh, uh, meat with uh, your choice of whatever type of sloppy joe stuff you want to put on it. I got regular, uh, oh, regular manwich sauce, and then on top is garlic powder and uh, brushed red pepper, and then your choice of hot sauce. Here we go again. Mm. That is delicious. Let's try a little bit of this potato casserole. Mm. This is really good. 
I did it on the stovetop this time as opposed to doing it in the oven, but it's really delicious. Well, there you have it. How to make the perfect sloppy Jason. Look at that. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. So, until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> Special shout out to uh, Patrick Barton. Patrick Manzo, he got a new channel, he's a really cool guy. They got the Munchie Show. They're awesome, they have a really high tech food reviews. Uh, Joey's World Tour, that awesome Cat W Magic, all our witchy friends. Josh Rowles, of course, and Traveridge. He's the man. And I hope you like the thing of Sloppy Jason, so until next time, take care of my legion.